He is having such a great year. Waters without him. Camp Lee is taking his place. Here's Young. Almost broke it. Wes Hopkins hung on long enough. That's the end of the first quarter with the score. San Francisco 7, Philadelphia nothing. There's Joe Montana, who has been throwing during the week, Wednesday and Friday, as a matter of fact. Hasn't played since 1991. That uh, he will play again. I mean, his arm is back and he's feeling pretty good. But the way Steve Young is playing, it's Steve Young's team right now. And the only way Joe Montana is going to get back there on the field is if something happens to Steve Young. On first down. That's Amp Lee. He and Ricky Waters, he was their number one draft choice last year. Ricky Waters and Amp Lee were in competition in training camp. And Waters just kept coming back from the injury and looking better and better and better. So did Amp Lee. But they made the decision to go with Waters. And I think that, that Waters has been the biggest surprise. I mean, even George Seifert said, we got Waters. He was hurt the whole first year. We didn't know what we had. And then I think that he surprised the 49ers. He surprised everyone. And he, he could be one of the most valuable players on this team this year, Rick Water. Here's Young. Off my right. Thomas tripped him up after a gain of 25. Yeah, that's one of those things. The, the good news for the Philadelphia Eagles is Ricky Waters is out. The bad news is that makes them throw the ball more. And when they throw the ball more, they go back to Jerry Wright. I think that was one of the reasons that Jerry Rice didn't get as many passes because the 49ers were running more because of Ricky Waters. Ricky Waters goes out, and now you throw the ball to Jerry Rice. But it all starts right here. Against this Eagle team, you have to have good pass protection. That is a very good pass. Young back again. That's the John Taylor. Taylor to the Eagle 30. Run out by John Booty. Rice has four catches for 73 yards. That was Taylor. If I were Mike Shanahan calling the plays and, and the way they're going now, I'd just keep throwing the ball because they really have. I think Steve Young has a hot hand. I think he has a lot of confidence. I think they have the pass protection down. And he got Jerry Rice. Of course, Jerry Rice just broken all their tight and all-time record. So you know he's in the game. He's getting John Taylor in the game now. Now's the time to have fun and just let it fly. This is Ant Lee. William Thomas knocked him down. What they're trying to do is, is, is you get the passing successful, then the thing you want to do is try and run a draw play. You see, and, and, and the draw looks like it's there, but it wasn't a big eagle pass rush. But the only way the draw really works is when everyone runs up the field and the running back just goes right by it. The hole appeared to be there, as you said. And Golick goes it in a hurry. Here's John. Now Mike Sherrard, this time, out of bounds by Booty. They do have a lot of weapons. Yeah, they do, and, and you just have the feeling that, that, that Steve Young really has a rhythm going today. Last week, we did that uh, game down in Anaheim against the Rams. I don't think that he ever got into rhythm, and maybe that's why they went more to the running game. But today, whatever it is or whatever gets you in that rhythm, Steve Young is in it. He is 9 out of 12. to the left this time. Taylor is resting. Young back to throw it again. Graham Lee. Hit by Eric Allen inside the 10 at about the 8. Picked you know, up 4. The, the, the impressive thing about Steve Young and his drive is, is, is he's had five different receivers. You know, it's not just Jerry Rice. I mean, he's throwing it to Rice, to Taylor, to Sherrard. Then he throws one to Amp Lee. And 
he mixes the ball around, and I bet you right now that they're trying to figure a way to get another one to Jerry Rice here. I know you want to win the game, you got to get a touchdown, but those two things work pretty well together, Jerry Rice and touchdown. McMillan has replaced Booty in the Eagles secondary. To the five, to Rice. Well, he threw the ball to Rice, and the, the Eagles worked all week. I know the 49ers were going to catch short passes, but I, the minute they do, I'm tackling them. Yeah, I mean, getting someone there, Jerry Rice got that thing, that option. The ball's thrown a little behind him, and he had a turn. They want to get a whole bunch of guys there to tackle him. Third and two as Montana looks on. Jerry Rice is on Mark McMillan, a rookie now, five foot six rookie. I think I just threw a slant. He's young, under pressure. He can handle that for a while. Incomplete. John Booty came out of there with the ball, but they say it hit the ground. So Kofer will come on. Ruling on the field is an incomplete pass. Brings up fourth down. Incomplete. That's what these Eagles can do. You know, you get to a point, and he got the pass rush. They ran him out of there, and then made him throw this. I'll tell you, Booty, Booty came awfully close to an interception in the end zone. They say the ball hit the ground. Looked as if it slipped through his hands and then bounced back up into his body after it hit the ground. 22-yard field goal attempt coming up for Colford. Bono is the holder. Field goal by Colford is good. He'd been hurt with a bad shoulder, but it didn't bother his leg. Diners 10, the Eagles nothing. As you know, on Thanksgiving Day, we have a ceremony in which we present, or John does, to the outstanding player, a turkey leg. Thanksgiving Day, we saw the Cowboys beat the Giants, gave the annual turkey leg award to the game's MVPs. Unfortunately, we didn't have time to show it and show the ceremony on Thursday. We'll show it to you in just a moment. There are the recipients. Kofor set to kick off. that presentation we promised on Thanksgiving Day Smith in Dallas. A leg, yeah. All the other linemen you get a leg and then we decided to give the whole bird to the offensive lineman and Nate Newton has that. Hey, I tell you what, Johnny, man, it's, it's good, man. It's a little dry and cold at home. <laughs> <laughs> Emmett, does that take the place, uh, that turkey and those legs, that take the place of the gift that you're going to get for the offensive line? Uh, I think so. Uh, I would like <laughs> oh, no, it ain't. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we appreciate the bird, man. Okay, you got it, man. Use it. And believe me, Nate used it. Nate did of line and Emmett Smith they did a heck of a job on Thanksgiving Day so they get this weekend off and I think when you talk about the best teams in the NFC I think on Thursday and today we're seeing the two best you, you know you can make an argument are the Cowboys the best or are the 49ers the best but I think it's one of those two teams right now Heath Sherman got to carry on first down slipped down again so it's second and ten Cunningham under pressure and down he goes. Ted Washington getting better and better. The nose tackle. Yeah, let's watch. Here's Ted Washington right here, and we'll look at it. The thing, and you see, he's taking the the place of Michael Carter. Now you watch him. He starts in the middle, then he's going to run around. You bring the end inside and bring Washington around. See, Fagan comes down hard, and he takes three with him right there. He takes three, and then Washington just runs around it and gets the sack on Randall Cunningham. You talk about stunts and games and so on, that's the way they do it. Third and 18, loss of eight. 